All right, everybody, welcome back. Uh, after a very exciting 3-0 from Astral over Paul, we now move into our second matchup of the night, which is the Untouchables versus JBS Esports. And before we do anything, let's take a look at the, the players on the rosters for both of these teams so we know who to expect as uh, we see players joining the game tonight. So, the Untouchables on your left-hand side, we've got MaxiPad, Alex Arthur, Demonic, and Sergeant Lee. And on your right-hand side, JBS Esports, we've got J-Man Beast, McSalty, Surfer21, and Bikaw. So, shout out to both of these teams for having some very nice-looking logos. I, I <laughs> greatly appreciate that. I always like to see... Uh, the orgs and individual teams have their own uh, uh, their own team logos. But Alex Arthur, who's that? McSalty and Bikaw missing personal profile pictures, so we need them to, to get on top of that. No, no worries for that. No uh, performance uh, differences for that. We'll... Uh, We'll just roast them for not having profile pictures. But for those of you who maybe are just joining us for the first time, this is our first week of the IGL Spring 2021 circuit. Um, yeah, day number one of week number one. We've got plenty of games here to show you. Just got done with our first of six games tonight. So, five more to go, including this one between the Untouchables and JBS Esports. And normally in my pregame, I'd have a lot more to talk about because I'd have some previous results to go over, some stats to actually talk about from previous matches. When it comes to the playoffs, I get to look at the circuit and who all they've played through the regular season. But for now, all I really, <laughs> all I really have is, uh, is the players and and the names that they've got here. No stats to look at, no previous match history, really. I, I guess I could go back and take a look and see if these teams or players played in previous circuits, but I run the risk of that being way too much information because a lot of players could have been playing on a lot of different teams and then they come together and play on these two teams in the next season. Um, or I run the risk of there being absolutely nothing as both of these teams could be brand new to the circuit. So, can't win either way, but at least at least we know who we're going to be looking for as we head back to Champions Field here in a couple minutes. I'd like to get this this match started. If you're new to if you're new to IGL and trying to figure out what the heck all of this is, feel free to use exclamation point IGL in the chat, and you should get a link to uh, to the IGL website. And feel free to use the other commands that are available in the chat as well. So we wait just a couple more minutes before this match can get started. And as you're trickling in, let me know who, who you think is going to win tonight. If you've done your homework, let me know what you know. Um, drop predictions if, if you like. And create a chance. Just make it exciting here in the chat. That's what, that's what I like to see on the stream, and that's what the league likes to see. That's what everybody in the league likes to see is some hype, no matter what teams you're watching or who's playing. Just some support from the community overall.
let's see. So I guess I'll plug the rest of the, the games that we have coming up throughout the rest of the night. So in about an hour or so, we'll have Buddy and the Bread playing against Area Esports, 2v2 US East matchup. And then Shake and Bake versus Hootie Rabbit at 9 p.m. These are all central, by the way. 2v2 US East. At 10, we've got 715 Gaming and Summerside, also 2v2 US East. And then at 11 p.m., we'll round everything off with Clutch Gaming versus OK in a 1v1 in U.S. West. It's a little bit of a shakeup from the rest of what we've got today. But and feel free to follow, uh, follow me on Twitter, AWASH underscore RL. Feel free to check out my YouTube channel, just AWASH. Um, I'm going to start posting VODs there, hopefully in the next couple days. Um, so the last longer than the, that 14-day 14 twi 14 Twitch. Uh, uh, 14 days that Twitch allows for, for their VODs. So feel free to check me out on that. And feel free to check back in regularly because I'm going to try to... Uh, this is my first full season in the IGL, and I'm looking to, to be consistent with it throughout the entire circuit. So Monday, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, I'll typically be casting or streaming. And then Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I'll try to stream at least two of those days, just kind of depending on what my schedule is and uh, like if I have to attend to other things throughout the latter half of the week and my own games that I'll be playing in as well. So I've got to get those scheduled usually before I can uh, schedule my, my casting times. Where are the untouchables? I don't know. I'm about to send out this lobby info. So maybe we'll, we'll find them here pretty soon. Send this to MaxiPad and Ritzy, I believe. All right, so all that lobby info has been sent out to the two captains. So let's turn our attention to champions field change the scene we'll switch it over to champions field where we've got the untouchables and gbs esports getting ready to, to take the field if you're an untouchables fan in the chat let me know get hyped if you're a jbs fan also let me know in the chat get hyped as we should be having both of these teams in here fairly soon to get this to get this started. So Bika, Surfer21 in the lobby. Waiting on a couple more players. Touch no balls. On, whiffs only. Am I right? I got Demonic in here as well. I'll be honest, I forgot who is supposed to be on what side. Like, who, which of these players are for what team? Um. <laughs> so somebody joined a, a little bit early once again, so I might have to... I might have to remake the lobby. <laughs> All right, let me, let me let everybody know real quick. So, 
another little little I guess technical difficulty. I don't know. Uh, McSalty, thank you for the follow. Good luck in. I don't know if you're if you're playing tonight or if you're subbing out, but glad to have you here. Glad to have your team on stream with us. And <laughs> Max, if you're in the uh, if you're in the chat, no worries. All right, let's. Try that one more time. So we've got Untouchables and JBS fans in the house. All right, so Demonic, Maxi Pad, Sergeant Lee have found their way back. that just a tiny bit so I can see the screen a little bit better there we go and do we have everybody here looks like we're missing one person <laughs> salty they're your boys huh glad to glad to see that you're here to, to show them some appreciation keep getting kicked before i try to join Let's see Uh, we got one player who's having issues going to the lobby, so it'll be just a couple more moments. <laughs> All right, so one player had to had to restart real quick. So hopefully, in the next minute or two, we can. They have them su successfully join the lobby, and then we'll be we'll be ready to go. Let's take a look at the chat while while we wait. My boy Surfer about to hit him with the double flip, no kizzy. I'm not I'm not sure I underst quite understand what that means, but. Midwest wet coached in untouchables any uh any uh, analysis you you want to share with us that might be helpful for the uh uh for the rest of the the rest of the chat to know about to drown in surfers ways you can't surf oh I like a little little bit of banter come b between these fans <laughs> Get ready to get double committed. Oof. All right, still working with one of the one of the players to uh to help them get into the lobby.
I break legs. What player can't get in? Uh, it looks like Ritzy can't can't get in. Uh, I guess they're having trouble joining. Uh, they we're having trouble joining the lobby, and then Rocket League is running slow for them. So hopefully we can get them. We can get them in uh, next next couple moments. Max is the strong dribbler, and Lee is a striking maniac. Oh, okay. We'll have to take a look. Take a look at that. Tell your friends they are screwed. Tell your mom the same thing. Sheesh. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. For those of you in the chat, do any of you know how to uh, type from the Choose Team menu in private lobbies? I've seen people do it, and I still don't know how to do it. Negative, unfortunate. Okay, looks like Ritzy might be good. Hopefully we can get him in. Looks like I've restarted, restarted things. Ah, there we go. Cool, we've got seven. All right, let's switch it back to... Uh... Oops. All right, here we go. Did all the players join? I don't like to see that. Okay, yes, we do have everybody in. Okay, just, just making sure, just double checking. Uh, but here we go, the Untouchables and GBS Esports. Uh, f after finally getting everybody into the lobby, now we can take a look at this exciting Tier 4 Division 19 matchup, 3v3 US East. And Sergeant Lee getting things starting off hot for us. The mistouch from J-Man. Capitalized on by Sergeant, gets it past Surfer. And the other GBS defender. We can get a look at who it was. Cheat real quick. Uh, Bika. Okay. I got it past both of them and are now at 1 0 in favor of the Untouchables. Maxi Pad trying to get a touch here in the corner, but they're gonna rotate around, get get themselves out of an awkward situation. Well, that shot from Bika goes off the post, and the follow-up from J Man finds the bottom right corner, and it's now one to one within the first minute. J Man, a quick turnaround, slotting it past the blue, the two blue defenders, and we're now all tied up. We'll see if we can keep the, the goals coming. So I, I certainly love to see some high scoring games. We had a good amount of goals in the previous series. Let's see if we can keep that trend up with our second one of six for today. 
J-Man taking it up the wall towards the middle. Can they get the shot before Demonic can turn? And they will. J-Man, after having some issues getting into the lobby here in the beginning, looks to have their device running at full potential. And their hands running at the same potential as well. They're off to a very hot start. Two games in the first minute and a half. And JBS went down 1-0 pretty early, but now have a one-goal lead over the Untouchables. Because sends it high towards the... Oh, and they're going to be able to sneak it in. At the bottom left, the bottom left corner this time, the touch off the sidewall, quick transition, and a delayed touch. Maxi Pat and Sergeant Lee not able to get into into a position to save it. And JBS now at three goals to one. We'll see what the Untouchables can do here to get themselves back into this game, and that was going to be a very quick response if it wasn't for Surfer's save. Pretty much on the goal line. Surfer look, look to dribble it past one. It's going to cut around and Maxi Pad gets a touch to the middle and that's going to be 50. Demonic sends it into their own corner. Oh, a pinch to the middle and Bika not able to get a shot on target. J-Man going to put it back in and J-Man. One, two, three, just like that. A hat trick for J-Man Beast. As they have wasted no time in getting settled into this series. Quick hat trick for them. And JBS now 4 to 1 up on the Untouchables. J-Man looking to get a block in the blue corner. Not going to be able to, to quite get it. Maxi Pet sending it out to the midfield. Surf for 21 on it. Gets it past Sergeant Lee, and the bounce rolls up high in front of the, the net. And because Bika was there, and Demonic gets a great save. Surfer couldn't quite turn around on it. Maxi Pad the pass to Demonic, and are not able to get a some contact towards the net. Surfer for 20. 21 going down the other way gets it past demonic gets the full boost looking for a pass towards the middle the second touch pushes it around getting it past two untouchables defenders and then diving in teammate cut in front of it oh it's a good pass sergeant lee's shot a little bit high and past the corner nice pat another touch to the middle untouchables looking for the the infield passing plays unfortunately they're just not coming at the right time None of their teammates have, are in great positions yet to, to score. Oh, Sergeant Lee going to bring the deficit to two goals. They got there first in a misread from, I believe that was Bika, on the, off the corner there. Gives Sergeant Lee an open net to shoot at. Untouchables, just over a minute left to get two back. Well, it's game number one. We'll go to JBS Esports. The car pops it up into the middle. One of them was high enough to get it. A maxi pad able to get the clear out to the middle. They're going to catch it and see what else they can do with it. Get it past Bika. The pass to the middle. Sergeant Lee is there, but they can't get contact. And Surfer sends it down the other way. Relieving that pressure. Surfer might have another opportunity there, and it's just off the corner. Oh, and a dunk from J-Man. Goal number four off of four shots. Dunking, I believe, yeah, Sergeant Lee. Very quick plays from J-Man. Putting it 5-2 to two in favor of JBS. And Untouchable is going to need to work out what's not happening, what's not working on defense, and how they can stop J-Man. 
It just looks to be on absolute flames right now. Sergeant Lee's touch not too strong and out wide left in the middle. Because looking to make it six. Maxi Pad's going to intercept that one, but Surfer is just off the post. Very close from Surfer. Oh, can we get a zero second goal and we're not going to see it. JBS is going to make it a five to two scoreline to end it here for in game number one. I got a team of console players on JBS versus a team of, of PC players on the Untouchables. So console versus PC. Let's see which of them can come out on top. <laughs> Thanks, Midwest, for the good luck. Good luck to you, too. Uh, what's with the latency that uh that's just because my computer has low ram so it usually at the beginning of a series it just it takes a quick second to get things going after that it, it's pretty smooth yeah good plays coming out from from both of these teams both teams getting on the score line sergeant lee and j-man looking to be the offensive threats for their teams respectively yeah, RAM is cheap, but I'm on a laptop. So it's not not the easiest thing. I've also got this big PC back here. So I just need a GPU. I, got, I think they're just waiting for me again. <laughs> no, no worries, Red Torch. Just being a bully. But here we go, game number two. Oh, let me transition that so we can uh, make sure the scoreboard is accurate. JBS Esports taking game number one over the Untouchables, five to two scoreline for that one. And we'll see if J if uh, J Man can keep up the scoring streak. Four goals to their name in game number one. We'll see how many more they can add in game number two. Or if the Untouchables have a response to J-Man. They can put up a couple of goals of their own and lock down the defense. And tie this series up. Oh, some missed touches coming out from JBS. Shows they're a little bit weak on this. Oh, <laughs> oh and there we go. Sergeant Lee finally putting it away. A couple whiffs from JBS right before this moment. Allowing Sergeant Lee to, to put it back in. Maxi Pad puts one off both posts. But Sergeant Lee cutting in. And able to finish it off. 1 0 to the untouch balls. 423 left in this game number two. Uh, you can pronounce my name as Awash. If you want to call me a washer. Uh, yeah, a wash is also cool, but if you want to say it proper, it's a wash. It really only gets me when people say a whoosh, because there's not two O's. That's okay, let's focus on JBS. And right now, all the focus seems to be on J-Man. And goal number five for them for this series. A great touch. Sergeant Lee, just barely not enough to keep it from going out of the net. And we're all tied at one apiece, a little bit over one minute into this game. Maxi Pat taking it up the corner. Because Mita sends it into the midfield. Demonic 50s it with J-Man, and it's gonna keep going over to the opposite side of the, of the walls. Oh, and Surfer 21 shot, not able to be kept out by the Untouchables defense. The three, t the multi-time season two diamond tourney winner. A shot towards the net, and I believe they also got a bump on Sergeant Lee, which made Sergeant's touch a little bit weaker there on the save. Very, very close. 
But JBS up once again. Oh, oh and they're going to make it three with some help from the post. Bikar absolutely launching one downfield. Sergeant Lee turns around, but it's just not, not quick enough. They were never going to reach that one, and the post certainly helping them on that occasion. Nice bet. Flex towards the middle. Demonic looking to take the shot, but it's blocked early by Bikar. Surfer is up, puts it towards the net. Maxi padded is in the net. Oh, and that's going to be the weirdest defensive touch that we've seen today. So awkward. Maxi padded trying to get away from that front post. But their touch only able to go off their, their, uh, their side post. And JBS, once again, ready to capitalize. 4-1. to one, Looking to keep up the scoring. The Untouchables is a little bit unlucky this time, or a little bit more unlucky this time around than they were in Game 1. But all the credit to JBS for being in the right spots at the right time and just peppering the goal with shots. The more you shoot, the more goals that you're going to find. Demonic touched the back to their back corner met by Maxipad. It's cleared out by Sergeant Lee and Demonic. Going to turn on it, puts it to the corner. Oh, and Maxi Pat's shot goes into the other orange corner. Let's see what Bacaw can do here. Off the ceiling, not able to, to get it out to the midfield. J-Man pops up towards the middle. Both of their teammates are up. And it is just wide. Sergeant Lee's touch doesn't go almost anywhere. Surfer on it once again. Thought they might be able to follow it up there. That would have been interesting. Oh, J-Man, not a great touch from them. Sergeant looks to capitalize, and Demonic's not able to follow up quick enough either. Sergeant Lee cutting in front of Demo uh, Demonic to get the clear. Oh, and Pika going to be there before either, either the other untouchable Defenders, J-Man, quick pressure there. And some some bounces going in favor of JBS. And they're there to capitalize once again. Red Torch, I, I feel you on that one. The, uh, the touch of balls don't have, haven't had a, a whole lot of pressure. A lot of... The offensive pressure has come from JBS. Uh, they look to just be the slightly faster team right now. Touch of ball is second to a lot of the major challenges. But if they can turn it up into the next gear, uh, then perhaps they, they stand a chance in game number three. Is game number two here looking to be over already? Four, go four goals in a minute, not unheard of, but... Really, it'll take a, it would take a miracle for for that to be possible. Maxipad picks it up near their goal line. Surfer continuing the early pressure. And JBS not afraid to to pressure. Oh, and Maxipad's gonna be able to squeeze one under the crossbar. What happened here? J Man, the touch off the side wall, and Maxipad just a well placed shot. The call looked to uh, looks to have messed up their jump right there, not able to get the save. And Untouchables putting it to the same score line that we saw in game number one. J Man looked for the dribbling plays. Be uh, call and Surfer. Splitting up the, their offensive duties. Two goals apiece for them. And J-Man looking for assists. Uh, they have one goal to their name, but Sergeant Lee going to make it two goals for them. The missed touch from Bika. Demonic looked to have had it, but Sergeant Lee going to clean it up. Three to five for JBS. Two quick goals could put this to five to five. 
I didn't think we'd get to this point. But just eight seconds left. J-Man puts it into the sidewall. And that is going to be it. JBS Esports take game number two, five to three. This time, J-Man taking more of a support role. As Bika and Surfer take on a lot of the offensive duties. And Untouchable still looking, still looking threatening, but like I said, we need to we need to see them take it up just one more, one more gear to see them really challenge those balls and break break out on defense quicker. But also when they're on, I'm sorry, break out on offense quicker. But when they're on defense, pressure the ball earlier so that JBS has fewer opportunities to to capitalize on. Oh, whoops. Uh, I did not mean it to transition there, my bad. What? Okay. Let's try that one more time. There we go. Thank you, Red Torch. I appreciate that. This is my second. This is my second IGL season, my first uh, full one that I'm going to be doing. I've had a lot of fun casting so far. Glad that I'm able to get in a a lot of games here in the, these first couple days to really get back into the groove. Uh, jump right into the deep end get, as I get back to casting. But game number three between JBS Esports and the Untouchables now. J-Man putting up a great offensive display, at least five, or five goals and at least two assists to their name. As JBS has uh, raced into a 2-0 two, two series lead. Uh, but we shouldn't leave out uh, J-Man's teammates, Bukal and Surfer, who have certainly put in uh, their fair share of of the work here. J-Man far from carrying this team. But Untouchables need to need to be a little bit better here in game number three if they want to avoid being swept. Been a, a tiny bit slower uh, in their playmaking and decision making. But if they can switch that up, we'll, let's see what will happen. It's going to be a dangerous pass towards the middle, but it's met well by Sergeant Lee. That shot on target by J-Man and Maxi Pad to touch out wide. Because sends it back towards the middle. It's off the crossbar. J-Man trying to reach this one. Maxi Pad going to get one touch, but a whole lot no follow up. So, Because going to send this one on target and Demonic gets to save. Because going to let that one go past. Another double commit from the Untouchables on defense. Kind of like uh, their their coach said before that uh, we have seen a couple of double commits from JBS. It hasn't really been super noticeable. Uh, so I, I'm not sure that they've been doing it a lot, but they'll certainly want to minimize it to, to as few as possible. Demonic backflips, tries to pass to Sergeant Lee, but they're just going to leave it. Demonic going to get a follow-up! And Surfer with the save. J-Man pressuring to ensure Maxipad has no shot. Send it back the other way. The touch off the back wall. Have another good opportunity from JBS. We're at 0-0 zero, zero here, halfway through. Uh, MFP and in PFM. <laughs> Thanks for the follow uh, I'm not sure if that's supposed to stand for something, but I hope you uh, I hope you enjoy all of the matches here tonight. 
Game number three between JBS Esports and Untouchables, our second match of six for the day. Back, as Maxi Pad sends this one off of the back wall. The Untouchable is certainly holding on on defense for the moment. And considering they've allowed five goals in both of their previous two uh, games, holding it to zero, zero for this long is certainly a, a great step in the right direction for them. Uh, now we need to see them score a goal, though. So unfortunately, they can't win if they don't score. Suddenly gets it past that midfield line, but put right to Surfer. That's another thing that I'm noticing from the Untouchables is that they're, when they do it, uh, kind of relieve that pressure or have an opportunity to break out to the midfield, uh, there's usually not somebody to, to support. There's been a couple times where they've gotten it out to the midfield and then they just give it away back to JBS because there's no pass to it. Um, there's no pass. <laughs> J-Man almost dropping that one under the crossbar. But there's no follow-up from a teammate or support, really. So the, the player who gets it out from the touch ball just sends it over to the great corner and gives the ball up. Well, this, oh, that touch from Max had almost capitalized by J-Man. Sergeant Lee was able to get the block, though. Surfer. Oh, <laughs> unfortunate. Surfer looking to keep that one in the corner, but touched back by their teammate. Back pass towards J-Man. Good pressure there from the Untouchables at the midfield line. And it looks like we're going to have overtime for game number three. And here we go. After five goals each for JB... J, uh, five goals per game for JBS at this stage. And Untouchables with five goals total to their name. We're now at 0-0 overtime. In game number three of this series. Surfer a little bit of an air dribble. Puts it into the corner looking to get it across. Demonic there to clean it out. But only to to where Bacall was waiting. Nice pad. That's a good touch towards the middle. It's going to be followed up by Sergeant Lee. But it just can't make contact. It would have been a great opportunity to break out though. A double commit from Demonic and Maxi Pad. What can JBS do here to try to capitalize on the situation? That's sent across by Jamin. Sergeant Lee going to pick this one up. Does get the block. It's continuing towards the orange net. Sergeant Lee, the backflip. Maxi Pad still able to, to somewhat read it. Maxi Pad back touch. I don't think Demonic was ready for it. A miscommunication between Sergeant Lee and Maxi. Jamie had a good touch towards the middle. Demonic not able to get contact. Surfer on it, but. Touches it with the wheels. No power behind it. They're going to stay in the play, though. See what they can make happen here in the corner. Beacock comes in. Slight pinch towards it. Uh, towards the blue net. Oh, that's wide uh, from... I believe... I can't tell who that was. Oh, I missed from Sergeant Lee forces Demonic in an awkward situation with Sergeant Lee, a great demo. So that uh, one of the JBS players had to turn around and get the clear. Not a whole lot of momentum behind it. Almost two minutes gone in this overtime, and we still do not have any goals in this match. Remember, JBS is on match points, so if they win this game, they have completed a sweep against the un Untouchables. Oh, and J-Man looked to be there first, and Surfer is going to get it, and they're going to clean up shop. Two minutes and 18 seconds into this match, and Surfer capitalized off of some great quick pressure from J-Man. And JBS completes the sweep over the Untouchables. Absolutely.